I'm on my way to look at a window with a cracked glass. A homeowner wrote and said that she has double pane windows and one of the glass in one of the units is broken. Now, a lot of homeowners think that we have to replace the entire unit. Well, in some cases that's true. But there are also manufacturers out there that will make you a sash only. So you give them the window dimensions, they make the sash, and you can put it in, good as new. There are also companies out there that will make just the glass to fit into the sash that you have. But you have to be able to take that sash apart to do it. So we'll know more when we get there and I'm hoping it's one of the last two options. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Kate. How nice are to you? meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell me, you wrote me about a window problem. I did. I did. Well, it was one of those really cold uh, winter uh, days, and I went to lift up my shade on my window, and look what I found. Oh, the glass is busted or cracked. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. At first, I thought it was outside, but apparently it's inside. Yeah, it's definitely on the inside pane. So what you have here is a double pane window, which means there's a piece of plate glass on the outside and the inside, but yep. the inside of the glass is filled with argon gas. Argon gas is very dense and heavy, but it's also a good insulator because the glass is very inefficient. Unfortunately, with expansion and contraction, quick temperature changes and all that kind of stuff, the glass could crack or fail. The seal and the gas will fall out. And that warm air in the wintertime that's swollen with moisture is always trying to get to cold. It will migrate in through the cracks and the window will fog up. Wow. Yeah. But it, I don't see that, that it has fogged up. Yeah, I haven't but, noticed that. Right, but all <laughs> the gas has escaped. And this is a problem with these windows because lots of times you have to replace the whole unit. They'll, they'll say, well, we don't have the sash. Right. You have to replace the units. There are companies that will sell you just the sash. Yeah. Did well, you... we did have somebody come out and his suggestion at the time was to replace the whole unit, oh, yeah. which, and then he gave us a price. So I, I, no more to be said about yeah, that, well, right? Yeah, well, I can imagine that's very pricey. Yeah. 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 Uh, well. Luckily, I uh, work with a glass company that's worked for us for many years, and they offer a system where they can come in and measure the glass. Right. They can take it out of that old sash and put a new piece in. Ah, that would be great. Yeah. I mean, instead of the entire window, imagine the money we're going to save. You're going to save a lot. Yeah. Hopefully, he can do it. Great. Okay, I'd like to introduce you to Rich, our Hi, glass Rich. specialist. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. He is the man that is going to fix it's your problem. Going to be my solution for the day, huh? I hope so. <laughs> but you brought a sample for us. I did. I brought a little cross section of what a insulated glass window would look like. This is a typical application. What you'd have, you'd have two pieces of glass with the metal banding in the middle, mm -hmm. and then there's some glue on the outside surface that it doesn't allow the moisture to get through. So what caused the failure of a window in most cases? Most of the time, curtains. 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 Can, curtains. By dropping the curtains down, it doesn't allow the heat to travel through both panes of glass and traps it. A lot of times it can crack glass if it gets too hot or it can break the seal in between the two uh -oh, pieces. Uh-oh, I think I know the culprit. <laughs> ah. I have a cellular shade inside and I certainly in the winter time to keep the heat in, I just assume keep it down as much as I can. Yeah, yeah. you're best off having it if you can open a little bit to allow the heat to transfer it yeah. through. When it, when it comes down right behind it, it starts to bake the unit and makes the glue hot and it will start to separate the glass from the actual yeah. damming itself. Is that going to match what I have on my windows right now? Because it looks like I definitely have a tint on there already. So will it blend in pretty yeah. easy? So one of the glasses is regular clear. The other one has a low, uh, low E coating on it. So basically what low E does, it basically stops the UV rays from coming in, reflects them out, and puts them back to the outside. It helps to try to eliminate or cut down on um, uh, fading of the furniture and things like that. And that goes on the interior of the glass. Exactly. So in this application, you have four surfaces, one, two, three, and four. The low E would be on the third surface, which would be the inside layer. All right, so how do you get started? Well, we can take some measurements and uh, take it from there. All right, let's see you do it. So I'm just measuring the width and the height of the glass. And after we get those measurements, we have to get the thickness of the glass. I just use this little caliper. All 
All right, Rich, you have everything you need? We got everything we need, we're all set. Perfect. Okay, so what's next? So we'll send all the sizes to the glass manufacturer. As soon as we get it back, we'll give you a buzz and we'll set it right up for you. And how long, Rich, do you think it'll take? Probably a couple weeks. Okay. Right, you'll Sounds call good us ahead of time? I'll let you know as soon as it's ready. Fantastic. All right, all right. Thank, thank you. you. No problem. Double pane glass is manufactured in a facility just like this all across the country. All right, the first thing that has to happen, the glass has to get loaded onto this machine. The dimensions are entered into the computer, which tells the cutter where to score the glass. Once all those dimensions are in there, the computer takes over, scores the glass, the guys come pick the glass up and it snaps to size. Because this is insulated glass, we need two pieces the exact same size. Now we need to make the metal frame that holds the two panes of glass together to create that space. We take the measurement and then we fold it all the way around, then there's a clip that holds it together. Next is to drill the frames to install a desiccant insulation on the inside perimeter of the metal frame. Then on the outside perimeter of the metal frame, a sealant will be installed to hold the two panes of glass together. All right, the next step in the process, they want to really deep clean that glass. So this machine, they put it on a roller, it rolls into here with its giant scrubbers that scrub the glass and a blower right here to blow all that water off. They want to make sure there's no imperfections in that glass when the window goes in. And this is where the two panes of glass come together. Marcus put a metal frame around that window and it's stuck to that pane of glass. Now it's gonna go into the opening and that machine will push the two panes of glass together. But before they go nice and tight, argon gas is injected up, which creates an insulated window. Now that the two glass panels are made into one unit, it's time for the final step to manually install a bead of polysulfite around the perimeter. Now our glass is ready to be transported to a window or glass store just like Rich's to be installed. Hey, Kate. Hey, hey Tommy, Kate. Rich, We're good back. to see you. Good to see you. And there's and your window. And a brand new window. Oh, wow, that yeah. looks great. And no crack, ready to go in. <laughs> All right, how do you want to get started? So the easiest thing, I'll take the sash right out, we'll put it on the table and we'll cut it right up. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here and I can give you a hand. Awesome. You ready? I got this, we'll put it right on the table. Yes, sir. All right, so next you're gonna remove the trim. Yep. Nice, the sash has this stop like that. Yeah, it makes life a lot easier when you have a removable vinyl. Yeah, a lot of windows you can't do anything about. Especially the new ones nowadays, you can't even remove the glass from the actual sash. They're made so they don't. Really? So by having a sash like this, it makes it a lot easier to replace the glass. You don't have to replace the whole frame and everything. Nice, it came out pretty easy. Yeah, so far so good. So the next step, we'll have to roll it down. So if we want, we'll pick it right up. Just watch out for the broken glass. Yeah. And we'll turn it right down. So we gotta cut the seal in there, right? Yep, so in between the vinyl and the glass, there's a silicone joint there. So we just use a very thin knife and we'll cut right through it. Perfect. Okay. 
All right, so now that we got the glass out and everything cleaned off, we just got to run those silicone joints so we can set the uh, glass into the wet silicone and seal it right up. All right, while you're doing that, I'll go get the glass. All right, so we have the glazer side in sticker down, so that's where the glass is going to go. So Okay, we we'll don't have it. any of these stickers in the way of the edge, right? It should make it. We'll set it straight down. There it is. All right, so all I'm going to do is take off these and we can start putting the moldings on. All right, so these have a, an interlock that locks into the frame, so we have to basically put this right into the actual frame and tap it right in and it'll lock right, right in. Slide right in. Yep. All right, do this side first. Yep. Perfect. All right, it's all set, ready to go in, all right? All set, yeah. Okay, you wanna carry it over? You line it up? Yep. Tell me where you need it. Close it just a little bit towards me, Tom. Go. Nice, right. okay, now the top. Alright, looks good. Yeah, thank you. Hey Rich. Hey Kate, how that you doing? Hey Kate, good. what do you think? Oh my gosh, it looks wonderful. Can't tell which one it is, can I you? I can't. No, if I can't, nobody else nobody will, can. right? That means we did our job right. The only thing, if you could leave it latched for 48 hours till the glue can dry and it takes shape, and then everything should be all set. Okay, and then after that, no problem cranking it open, nothing else I have to be Shouldn't aware of? Shouldn't be have any issues whatsoever. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so no much. No problem, thank oh you, Kate. Oh my gosh, saved thank us you. a lot of time and money. Well, that's it for now and for this project. So if you've got a project at your house, we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Tom Silva for Ask This Old House. That was pretty quick and easy, huh? Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.